Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel AgriEdict. So this is a very very important for all the aspirants who are writing their ICR exam in the year 2025. So in this video, I'm going to give you the complete details about like what are the things that you have to carry, things that you have to avoid and what are the important tips that is very much necessary for you to know before going into the exams. Plus, we'll be also talking about the NTA interface, like how exactly the interface look like and how you can actually practice before going into the exams, what is the site name and how you can do it. Every detail will be provided in this video. So please watch this video without fail if you are going to write these exams in the year 2025. So let's get started without any delay. The first thing to know about the admit card, see what documents to carry, like please note that you have to carry the admit card. So admit card is here. So a lot of students were having the doubt regarding the undertaking. See where exactly we have to download the undertaking form, what we have to fill. So there is no need to download any undertaking form separately. This portion itself is an undertaking. So here you have to just paste your candidate photo and here there should be the left thumb impression. And regarding the thumb impression also, a lot of students like girls were also asking while filling the form, we have given the right thumb impression as uploaded in the file. But now here it is asking for left. Should we give the right or left? So do not worry about anything. Simply provide the left thumb impression here at this stage. No matter like whether you have given the right thumb impression in your application or the left. See a lot of students have also made this mistake that for girls it is right but they have given the left only. But there would be no problem in this so do not worry at all. So for the application whatever is done is done for now like for this admit card just make sure that you give your left thumb impression. So for this left thumb impression I would suggest you if you are at home just make sure like you have a if you have an ink pad. Just go and put a thumb impression before you go to the exam hall. And also like if you do not know it in the exam hall also like you will get the thumb uh, ink pad near the Xerox shop or like anywhere near the exam center. But at a safer side I would recommend you just you have to make sure that you go with the thumb impression before you reach the exam center that is for the safer side. Otherwise by any chance if you miss it anyhow like near the exam center there will be a Xerox center there will be a stores where you will get the ink pad that depends on a location where exactly you are writing the exam. Okay, the candidate signature, please make sure that you have, you should not sign it here before you enter into the exam hall. Once you go into the exam hall, in event of the invigilator, you have to sign it. Okay, please do not sign this document, sign this document or the admit card before uh, going to the exam hall or to, before the invigilator comes to you. Only after, once you sit in the exam hall, where the invigilator will come to you, will take the one photo. At that time, you have to sign it. Do not sign it anytime before. And also regarding the admit card, whether like all three pages are necessary or first page is enough. Actually saying like first page is enough, there is no need to take the second or third. But for safer side, why to worry and why to take extra pressure or tension? Just take all the three copies with you and go. And uh, whether it should be in uh, black and white or colored is mandatory. So there is no such thing. You can either go with the colored or you can go with the black and white. Okay, please remember all of these things. And this is the undertaking. Just fill it and you can just put a thumb impression and also photo before going into the exam hall. And also students will ask, sir, like whether this photo and this photo should match or not. Actually, uh, everyone says that it should match. It should be same. But if in any chance, like uh, you don't have the same photos, do not worry at all. Make sure the it, it should be very easy to re recognize by comparing both the photos. There should be no huge difference between the photo that is present here and the photo that you are going to paste it here. Make sure they are both same. Okay, there is no much difference in it. Okay, so that's the only thing that you have to make sure while taking the admit card. Next, what to carry? First thing is water bottle. Water bottle is not compulsory and like it depends on a center if the center is too good and it is well managed then they will be keeping the water bottle and they will be keeping the area where you will have the uh, drinking facility but on a safer side if you want to carry you can carry but it should be like transparent water bottle not the steel or metal water bottle that is not at all allowed make sure to remember this and pen so you can carry the simple ball pen ball pen in some centers even if you carry they will not allow you to get, take it inside because they will give it inside so by any chance like carry one simple ball pen so if they are allowing you take the ball pen and use it if they are not allowing you they will give their own ball pen and regarding the extra sheet like rough sheet like any number of rough sheets will be given to you inside the exam hall you need not to carry anything and it is not at all allowed also okay and also like initially they will give one rough sheet that doesn't mean that you have to write everything on that you can take any number of sheets but make sure to utilize it correctly you would be hardly requiring two to three sheets maximum for, to write this exam to cover all the 120 questions next is admit card 
so carry the admit card and plus the original id proof okay so original id proof here when i talk about original id proof if it is other card e other card is fine okay that you have to take the download from the e other website and taking it if you do not have the physical id that is fine taking a printout of a e other is fine but other for all other documents like driving license pan card so make sure you have to the original id if you don't have the original id by any chance at least download the e other from the website and take a printout of it and take it to the exam hall okay or else i original physical uh, other card that you have that's mandatory plus one thing is not mentioned here please make sure to carry at least two minimum of two extra photos with you one photo anyhow we'll be pasting it here but other than this photo please also make sure to carry one more photo here okay do not forget to carry the photo these are the prerequisites which are mandatory for you to carry for your exam center and regarding the things to avoid like what things that you have to avoid the students were asking about the dress like what dress code to follow uh, what uh, things should be avoid to in order to in uh, while going to the exams first thing smart watches earpods earphones anything which is electronic anything that is electronic you can't carry inside anyhow you know that you can't carry phone but also you can't carry the smart watches with you or the by any chance you will be wearing the collar neck bluetooth or like you'll be having the airpods earphones nothing is allowed please make sure to keep it outside before entering the hall okay unless it will make the unnecessary delay and you'll be like coming in lot more pressure because of these things so make sure to avoid it simply do not carry anything to your exam hall and also make sure you do not carry any metal bunches key bunches like a uh, key key is fine but key bunches is not fine please do not carry anything and again that depends on the center to center there would be like no uniform rules at all center some might allow some might not allow and also the metal coins the money is fine the notes are fine but you can't carry the metal coins so that's again depends on the center some might allow and some might not allow so bet on better on the safer side do not carry such things to the exam hall if you carry them please make sure like keep it outside in your bag that you'll be handing over to the counters counters will be available in most of the centers so make sure to keep everything in bag along with the mobile okay and do not carry it inside and simple dress code dress code there is no fixed dress code for the students like you can even go with the uh, short not shorts like even you can go with the jeans anything is fine like formals anything is fine but keep it simple do not wear heavy clothes on you because that will be a, like extra attention to from all of them that is not necessary so please make sure to keep a dress code which is simple and it is formal that's it nothing much complex here there is no specific code for the uh, in the in case of dress code but do not make it complex for you people and one thing to note here is like regarding the thick soles see in the shoes or in the uh, slippers do not have the high yield uh, slipper or shoes like especially for girls so make it very like keep it very simple a simple shoes or footwear is fine do not carry thick sole it is not at all allowed in the exam okay and simple dress code in the sense any formals or any jeans pant or anything that we you casually wear that is fine not a problem and regarding the earrings and the metal so that is usually not uh, prohibited in case of nta for the icr pg exam and the phd exams generally but if you can avoid it better to avoid okay uh, for girls it's fine anyhow fine but for boys like if you can avoid it it's better to avoid otherwise like it won't be any problem in the exam also so do not worry much about these things okay and when to and regarding the pwd like if you are a pwd student like then you have to carry the certificate and also if you have a scribe then you have to reach the like follow all the regulation that uh, instructions that have been mentioned regarding the scribe and also the pwd so these things are extra extra important for those who are claiming the reservation here and next thing regarding the inter exam interface so i'll to show you like how exactly the exam interface you can practice how exactly the nta interface looks like see you can practice it before going into the exams i'll provide you the link of this in the description box make sure to click on it and attempt one test either like all the complete two hours or just to see the interface it depends on you okay so i'll just click here and i'll select the exam i'll select the icrpg and the subject you can also choose the subject i'll just uh, choose any subjects i'll choose with agronomy and i'll click on start the mock test see this is how it will look like you will have a username and the password all these things will be guided to you in the exam center so no need to worry about it like what will be the username what will be the id everything will be explained by the invigilators on the exam all so i'll click on login and here this is how it starts so you have to uh, carefully read all the instructions in the exam all and in the exam all you can get either laptop computer or the tab okay 
be prepared for everything you will either get the laptop computer or the tablet and do not do not worry if you are not like um, used to like how to handle this or how to use this they will guide you ev on everything but at least make sure to know the things be well in before because uh, it will save your time there and you have to click on this i read the instruction and you can click on proceed and this is how exactly the interface will look like this will be in a bigger screen here it is not showing bigger but it will be on a bigger screen where all the questions will be displayed in this part and you have an option to save and next clear save and mark for review you can save the answer whatever you have chosen and you can also click on save and mark for you and mark for review and next so all these options are available you can go by next by clicking on this back on this otherwise directly on the this this will also work this is the complete navigation which can work here you can see like how many if you have not answered how many you have answered and how many if you have marked for you and how many you have answered and marked for you there are both the options you can directly mark for you or you can click on and you can answer it and then mark for you see all these are similar to what aggregate website is like uh, the interface that looks like in our mock test also but there is slight difference so make sure to at least watch it once enter the details here come to this website and see like how it looks like so that you will be used to it before you go to the exam and once for the final submission you can click on final submit and you can see like whatever you have answered and after that you can click on yes okay so you can anyhow you can't submit the paper before the completion of exact timing that is like two, uh, before two hours you can't submit it you have to definitely wait for two hours and you have to sit there to for two hours in the exam hall you can't come out on the exam hall directly after finishing your attempt you have to compulsory sit for two hours starting with like uh, if it is starting in 10 am so it will be till 12 pm so you have to sit once the time is over even if you fail to submit even if you do not submit it will be taking automatically it will be automatically submitted so no need to worry about it once you start the test you have to only make sure that you save all your responses you i'll click on this i'll save it so now it is saved see the third one green is like saved it is saved my responses okay make sure that make sure whatever responses you are giving please make sure to save it on also once check it here it should be all green or purple purple means that you have purple with this green means like you have answered and marked for review only if you have marked for review without answering that will not be saved okay please remember you have to just answer and mark it for review that will come in this like this i'll just show you one thing so here i'll choose this but i'll click on save and mark for review that will come as a this symbol this symbol shows that you have answered and marked for you and this symbol purple color shows that you have not answered but marked for you but and also once you write the exam please have some amount of time to check all the responses because of some reason sometimes students always complain that i mark some other answer but some other answer has been like recorded so in order to avoid that please have some extra time to check all the 120 questions patiently after writing the exams which is very very important every question every marks will decide your rank please make sure to follow this carefully so this is about the entire interface so which you have to take care of okay next thing next thing is about like when to reach the exam center is it necessary that we have to reach like two three hours before or when exactly it is necessary see for for example the exam is at 10 a.m and in the admit card it is mentioned that you have to reach before 9 30 a.m so i would suggest at least reach by 9 at least maximum you have to reach by 9 or else you can go early also that depends on the center like how far it is but make sure you reach it by 9 because why see it's not that's a simple exam where you go and you sit and write the exam see there will be like different checking like stages where the multiple checkings will happen so at least like 30 to 45 minutes you will be in this process and that again depends on like number of students who will be coming to the center where you are going if there are crowd is huge then make sure you go early so that everything is in place you will be like you'll be also giving the biometric there that process will at least take like 5 to 10 minutes and if the crowd is huge then it will take the extra time also that's the reason why i'm saying at least reach by 9 so that once you enter the exam hall there will be multiple stages of checking and then we'll go for biometric and after that the laptop or the uh, counter will be allotted to you where you can go and sit and write the exam so for this to happen you need a lot of time here though so that's why if the exam is on 10 am the clock starts at 10 am it doesn't mean that you reach by 9 50 you complete every every process you sit and you can start so that's very risky so that's the reason at least go with at least one hour before the exam you reach the center and also like you know the thing that you have the admit card right now please make sure like to know exactly where the exam center is okay do not like do a trial and error 
trial and error in the last moment you, where you just keep on searching where the exam center is at the last moment please make sure at the, at least a day before that you know exactly where the center location is and which building like you are going to write the exams these things are very much necessary okay and what you will carry to the exam so do not carry like electronics like ipad you carry the laptop these things will like simply like burden you just carry one book if needed if you are reaching too early and revise everything from that if you want to do and at the last moment do not rigorously just take all the books and try to read anything you can nothing will go into your head in the last moment only carry simple book if you want to or the mobile itself some, sometimes is sufficient to see the things what are there like what to revise on recall the things that would be fine nothing more nothing less do not carry any like, ipad or like do not carry the laptops with you so that you think like you can revise it there after going to the exam center even if you reach early do not carry such things it will become complex for you people okay and other things like you can keep all the bags outside and go inside the exam to write it so that's how it is simple and soft copy so please 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 make sure like this is the one biggest problem that students will face every time the admit card that you have taken the print out the soft copy that you have downloaded from the website keep the soft copy save it on your phone laptop or keep it in a google drive or somewhere because at the later stages during the counseling time during the admission time you will require this soft copy of admit card okay do not keep only in your mobile sometimes if you lose your mobile so things can go wrong so that's why keep it in a google drive or share it with someone so keep it safe okay or in the multiple uh, parts or multiple locations so that you'll get it easily if lost and this is very much necessary and the uh, admit card that you take to the center mostly the, you won't be able to take it back from the center it will be submitted there only the admit card that you take it will be submitted in the exam hall so you won't be getting it at any way so soft copy keeping the soft copy is very very important and mandatory so please keep it without fail and last question like you will definitely get this in mind that how many questions to attend in the exam so it entirely depends on the level of paper but there will be minimum number of questions like anyhow like 70 plus questions like anyhow you have to attend if you want to get the icr pg fellowship if you want to get the good uh, college but that too might change based on the level of paper based on whether it is icr pg or the phd so anyhow like you will be knowing like previous year cutoffs and everything so make sure that do not pre-decide that i will attend 100 number of questions this time i'll attend all 120 so please do not decide anything right now only go to the exams and once you start attending the exams you will know the level of paper once you start your attempt right so based on the level of paper you, then you can decide see for example if you are able to easily attend 70 questions then you can stress for another 20 to 30 you can try to attend the rest 20 to 30 that's how it is the strategy again that depends on the student to student i won't be commenting anything on that in detail so it depends on you people but do not pre-decide that you will be attending this number of questions because the paper might change the paper might come too easy the paper might be too difficult but they will follow certain standards not too much difficult not too much easy so usually like on an average like 60 to 70 questions everyone can attend the rest of the questions whoever is attending whoever is marking right so that will decide the rank so this is everything about the exams that i wanted to convey i felt i believe like i have covered each and everything that is required at this last moment before going into the exams do, do not panic do not worry about anything just make sure to carry these things which i have maintained ad admit card the simple transparent ballpoint pen and the original id proof without fail and the minimum of two passport size photos carry two or more not less than two okay two or more fine and thumb i told you like keep a thumb before going into the exam center for a safer side but signature do not do it until you uh, invigilator visits you while, while you sit on the exam center so these are the minimum required things Till if you have any queries to ask you can comment on this video we will be available till the last moment of the exam to guide you people on this See, once you come after the exams for all other things like the regarding the results regarding the result date key answers counseling so we are here we will help you with each and everything step by step we'll guide you on everything so do not worry about anything right now only focus on writing the exams ni nicely so just join our whatsapp channel and telegram channel and subscribe our youtube channel to get all the further updates after the once you write the exams okay so that's it from this this video i wish you all the all the very best for all of you who are writing this exam no matter like how much you are prepared how much you are confident about do not worry about anything just make sure to be calm and write the exams and give your best shot and for all other queries like we are always here just drop a comment on this video so we will be happy to assist i wish you all the very best take care